Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. Thank you so much. Okay, let me introduce myself. Okay, I, I am myself Arvind. I have um, overall um, uh, 12, 13 years of experience. And uh, in my career, most of the time I worked as a um, automation tester. I was involved in framework developments. And I worked on multiple tools like QTP, Selenium, Sahi, etc. And uh, I have more than uh, six, six, seven years of experience, work experience on Selenium, and more than four years of training experience on uh, the same Selenium tool. Okay, uh, Sele uh, the conducting trainings or teaching is my hobby basically. So from the beginning, I'm very interested towards uh, teaching. So I choose this as a choice. Okay. Um, this is a small introduction about myself. Okay. Um, before uh, getting introduction uh, about yourself, let me um, take you through the uh, Selenium topics, why Selenium is uh, popular, all that. Okay. Uh, let me share my screen. Okay, um, okay, so as we know nowadays um, development and testing activities are going in parallel, okay, if a developer has to check in his code, there should be an equivalent automation code, then only developer can check in his code. It is not like earlier where uh, we used to follow waterfall model or V model in software development life cycle. Um, here nowadays everyone, almost all the industry, they are following agile methodology. So in agile methodology what we are doing, we are taking a small piece of uh, feature and we are implementing and we are releasing it to production with very short span of time um, hardly two weeks or three weeks time okay so because of this rapid growth in software uh, development uh, the automation um, took its major uh, popularity okay automation is becoming day by day it is becoming popular because of the agile development okay so we have n number of tools available in market out of all Selenium is one of the very very popular tool because of its because of lot of its salient features okay so for example first and foremost it's an open source freely available software okay so if it is an open source freely available software people will not blindly use it right so selenium has lot of features that other tools doesn't have for example this is the only tool which supports multiple programming language. Selenium is the only tool uh, in industry which supports multiple programming language like Java, C Sharp, Ruby, Python, Shell Script, I'm sorry, JavaScript, etc. So, say for example, in your organization, you have more Java developers and currently they are on bench. You can make use of those Java developers for writing a Selenium script with basic training. It's more than sufficient. So, develop your scripts in C Sharp if you're free to use any programming language okay so the second uh, third advantage of selenium is it supports almost all the popular browsers if you take any other tool it hardly supports one or two browsers okay but selenium is the only tool which supports almost all the popular browsers if you want to run on 
Mozilla, it supports. If you want to run in IE, it supports. If you want to run in Chrome, it supports. Almost all the popular browsers, it supports. So you can also, along with your automation, you can also cover your um, platform testing, okay? So if you want to test your application on different platforms or different browsers, that is possible in Selenium. And Selenium is the tool which is platform independent in nature. Okay, so what is meant by platform independent? So for example, today I am running, I am developing my scripts on Windows machine. Tomorrow after some days or some months, if I want to execute my script on Linux, or Mac, if it is an other tool, then definitely it is not possible for you to reuse the scripts. You have to develop the scripts entirely from the scratch when you change the platform. But Selenium is the only tool which supports multiple platform, that is it is platform independent in nature. Whatever the scripts you have written today on Windows machine, the same scripts you can execute on on Linux or Mac, whatever may be the machine you want to execute. So that is the another uh, very good advantage of using Selenium. Okay, and when you execute a script, basically, if it is un if if it is other tools like QTP or any other tools, what happens when you are executing your script? The complete control of your machine will be taken taken by your script so you will not be able to do anything literally you will not be able to do anything when you execute your script so you will become idle that time right so <coughs> when you are executing your scripts you should have some dedicated machines which is again which increases the cost right but in case of selenium no dedicated machine is required Okay, when I say no dedicated machine is required, <clears throat> on the same machine where you have developed your script, you can execute your test and while executing the test, you can parallelly do your work. It may be writing a new script or it may be uh, writing an email or whatever the task. Or it, if you are performing some manual testing, you can even do that when your script is executing. No dedicated machine is required. Okay, so and so when I say parallel execution, say so let us assume you have got uh, some 500 tests in your regression suit oh, and each test takes one minute of time and um, so each test takes one minute of time you have to co to complete execution you at least need 500 minutes yes. okay so in that case, in that case, what can you do? How, how can we complete the complete ex right? So in that case, you can execute two tests parallelly. At a time, two tests will be running in parallel. Okay, not only two, based on your machine configuration, you can execute in parallel. That is the another, uh, major advantage of using uh, selenium okay which made which, which made selenium to be more popular not only parallel execution it also supports distributed execution when i say distributed execution in your office network let us assume you have some machines across the globe okay across the globe which you can use for execution so sitting here 
sitting here you can distribute your execution as we discussed earlier let us assume I have 500 test cases to be executed I have got 500 tests to be executed what can you do instead of executing all this 500 tests on a same machine you can distribute the execution let us assume I am I'm distributing my test 100 test to machine 1 100 test to 150 tests here and 150 tests here and I'm executing only 100 tests in my machine so not only parallel execution you can also distribute your execution with the different machines that is also possible in selenium this is also possible in selenium okay so these are the some of the major features of selenium which made the selenium to be more popular okay these are some of the unique features of selenium what other tools doesn't have what are those okay first one um, it supports multiple programming languages uh, it is not the only one programming language we will be using it it depends on your requirement depends on your uh, availability of the resources we can choose the programming language for automation so Java sub, I mean selenium supports multiple programming languages like Java C sharp Ruby Python JavaScript Perl etc and this is the only tool which is support which supports almost all the popular browsers available in market and selenium is complete selenium packages are written using java so <coughs> so it, it, the same features are inherited to the Java features are inherited to selenium so it becomes platform independent in nature and when you use selenium you need not to have any dedicated machine when you are executing your script and you can also configure your machine your execution in such a way that you can execute the test in parallel if I say five five test has to be executed in parallel at a time five browsers will be opened and the execution will go on on all the five browsers so parallelly five tests will be executing and at last it also supports distributed execution when I say distributed execution we can distribute our test with different machines okay we can execute in the office network we can distribute the test across the different machines and we can monitor sitting in one machine okay these are some of the salient features of selenium so then what are the drawbacks of selenium or disadvantage it is a browser automation tool selenium is a browser automation tool so you can use this tool only if your application is opening on a browser if your application is not opening on a browser then this is not the tool okay and as selenium supports almost all the popular browsers um, the libraries of the selenium has to be updated with the browsers right so we cannot use the tool with the latest version of browser for example if the latest version of Firefox is 65 we cannot use 65 for our execution either we have to downgrade with one or two version maybe uh, 63 or 64 we can use um, but not the latest one so these are the two drawbacks of selenium other than this whatever it has is the advantage okay so basically selenium has four versions okay selenium id selenium rc selenium web driver and 
selenium grid these are the four versions of selenium selenium ide stands for integrated development environment ide is only for beginner say for example now i am a beginner i am a beginner very new to selenium i don't know how selenium identifies the object or how selenium uh, tool can be used for automation i don't know anything in that case we can go with selenium id it is only for beginners not for the professionals okay so if you want to understand how selenium is identifying the objects or how can we perform operations on the web element using selenium automation tool in that case we can go with selenium ide it is only for beginners and this is the only version of selenium which has its own editor okay this is the only version of selenium which has its own editor rest all the versions um, doesn't have any editor selenium ide also supports record and playback you can record the operation and you can play whatever the operations you have record using ide okay we'll discuss these things in detail once the actual course starts but this is not the right time to go in deep on each and every topic and selenium rc selenium rc is an another version of selenium which is deprecated now okay selenium rc stands for rc stands for remote control uh, remote control has some drawbacks <clears throat> so they have deprecated rc and they released a new version that is selenium web driver the previous version of selenium web driver was 2.0 but the latest version of selenium is 3.0 we will discuss uh, 3.0 features in our regular classes okay so if you learn selenium web driver completely then it is like you are a professional selenium automation tester okay so the complete selenium web driver features is very much essential for anyone to automate the test okay and as i told here distributed execution selenium supports distributed execution if you want to perform this distributed execution then you have to go with grid okay if you use grid oops, sorry if you use grid then you can achieve then you can achieve distributed execution okay once this is the core part of selenium this is the core part of selenium after this we will learn some important uh, frameworks frameworks like uh, testng testng is a framework which is used Uh, by selenium automation tool majorly to and for reporting purpose okay and along with this we have some build tools like maven and um, jenkins uh, the continuous integration tool will also discuss these things once we complete this we'll move on to the framework part which is very very essential in framework we have multiple frameworks like um, uh, along with testng okay along with testng we also have a very very popular uh, framework called page object model which is exclusively for selenium okay only selenium tool we use page object model we will discuss and implement not only discuss we will implement page object model and once we complete this we have some uh, uh, very old frameworks like uh, data driven you might have heard of it okay if you are already working you might have heard of it data driven automation framework uh, keyword driven automation framework hybrid driven automation framework all these things we will discuss in our regular classes okay so 
what is what is required to learn selenium that is the prerequisites right so if you want to learn selenium if you want to learn selenium then the very very basic thing what you should need is uh, java okay i'm i'm not sure since this is my first batch uh, with igm guru i'm not sure uh, whether the um, course is included with java topics uh, or not if it is included it's well and good i'll cover each and everything whatever is required for a selenium testing if it is not covered if they are sharing some videos uh, recorded videos with you then you may have to know all the all these things for example uh, basics of java how to put loop how to put loops and uh, conditional statements in java and what are string very very important if you are searching for a job uh, uh, <clears throat> at least 60 percent of the questions are from java and the remaining 40 percent are from your selenium okay so you should know all these string builders string buffer string builder and string after this you should know threads how to implement threads in java and um, difference between arrays difference between arrays collections and generics how to handle exceptions in java how to read and write into files using java this is very 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 essential reading and writing into files in java because when you are working with selenium you may have to read um, the values you may have to read the values from excel file because all our data will be stored in an excel suppose if you want to execute the same test with multiple set of data then how do we do how do we do the in, in that case we have to store our data in some external media right so what is that external media it will be definitely a uh, excel so if we don't know how to read and write files in java then it is very difficult for us here in selenium to read and write the values from excel right so that is why exceptions and uh, reading and writing into files are very very important after that uh, you should also know uh, or you should also have a deep knowledge on collections complete collection collection framework okay complete collection framework you should aware of okay, these are the some of the basic things what I expect you guys to know about Java once you know all these things this is a cakewalk for you okay just to give a just to give a hint okay um, selenium hq.org is the official website for selenium if you guys are free just go to this website okay this if this website has four tabs projects downloads documentation and support and in documentation whatever the topics are available we are going to cover I'm going to cover each and everything okay so here selenium ID uh, it is not that important but still yes uh, it is required for anyone to learn selenium okay. uh, <clears throat> you can go to documentation and you can see here what are all the topics available okay uh, so just to give a uh, some introduction about ID this is the only version of the selenium which has a editor and it comes with either Firefox or Google Chrome as an add-on okay only IDE 
is the version of the selenium which can work only on uh, only on either firefox or google chrome other than that it will not work on any other browsers but rest of the versions of selenium can be used on any other browser okay and throughout the course i'll use one dummy application i'll share this application with all of you you just have to install this okay you just have to install this once you install you no need to um, have internet okay internet itself is not required uh, once you install this but it opens on a um, it opens browser so okay so this is the application called active time it is basically a time tracking uh, software I'll just show you how IDE works okay um, so this is your IDE as I told earlier it is just an add-on with Chrome and uh, Firefox I'm not I'm not showing how to install all this today but later once the regular class starts we can uh, I'll show you okay I'll just say admin and the password click on login so whatever the operations I'm doing if you see here on the bottom it is recording right it is recording see say, command was recorded log out so now when I go and see whatever the operations I performed was recorded by selenium IDE can you see here each and every operations is recorded by selenium now if you want to run this you just click on run so it will perform whatever the operations we have performed it will replay that okay uh, something went okay it is doing that admin it entered username entered password I clicked on task now it clicked on projects and customers and then now it will log out right so whatever the operations I I performed the selenium recorded it and replayed it and if you see here once I execute I'm getting the status as a pass by this green indication right so let us not go in deep uh, okay once uh, the actual course is started you can definitely discuss in detail when the selenium is started what is the history of selenium okay now I just wanted to show you what are the salient features of selenium why it is so popular okay and uh, web driver is the main content of selenium if you learn web driver then it is like or the masters of selenium okay so guys anyone has any questions or any other content you are expecting from this course please let me know so that I can work on that guys I think you have to unmute now <laughs> Uh, Arvind Tarun this side from IGM Guru yes yes Tarun yeah hi. so the training is uh, very nice right so uh, the participant uh, if you have any questions or uh, you want to ask something from Arvind you can ask Binsi Kalpana Pragya Rohit Sujay so if you have something that you need to ask or you Correct. have some suggestions or anything you can share with also guys Hello? if you if you yes Hello? Uh, 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 the project will be just like the project which goes on industry or it will be a kind of just how to it, it means it will be in detail or it will be just like basics uh, you need not to worry it, uh, definitely it is not a basic it is completely a 
corporate training level okay so you will have in depth knowledge of selenium whatever may be the project he is given to you you will be able to automate once you complete this session course okay thank you anyone else has any question or <coughs> anyone else want anything else to be covered along other than these two please let me know or let tarun know so this process will be only automation or both manual and automation uh, that i have to talk to tarun okay um, it depends on how they have uh, made the course content okay if it is both manual and automation definitely then first we will start with manual once we complete manual we'll go to java and once we go to java we learn html once we learn basics of html we'll jump into selenium because even html is required to learn selenium automation you should un you should know how the selenium i mean how the html files are written then only we can understand the um, html tree structure yes so what about the word bit bucket something i i heard about word bit bucket uh, b i t b u c k bit bucket yes i mean sir. where did you heard that uh, for that selenium content uh, i search on google that, uh, for that syllabus kind of thing uh, okay see uh, i think i uh, seen that word yeah yeah see it is just a version control tool okay so yeah i'll cover that but not the bit bucket uh, there is another popular um, tool called git okay we can we can spend some time uh, to learn git mm, yes it's like a git correct oh. correct bitbucket is a, it's a, it's an another uh, kind of tool but it is not that popular okay 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 anyone else anything what are uh, what are the basics of html i uh, mean how much html we should know to automate these also very very basic when i say very very basic is just very very basic <laughs> okay so you need not to know in deep okay how the forms are developed how the tables are developed but what we should know is how the text box how the what is the structure of html how the html page starts how it ends how to write a code a simple code to generate a text box which generates a text box which generates a radio button how to implement drop down if you know all these things right when you see the application properties it will be easy for you to understand okay where is the actual code for this hi arvin hey hi yeah i just need to confirm whether we should be able to you know uh, cover the uh, javascript part javascript is javascript is totally not needed for selenium but there is a function called javascript executor in that i'll just teach you how to use the javascript executor but javascript is totally not required for us we never use as an automation testers okay thank you yeah welcome so uh, i guess everyone uh, is satisfied with the session so thanks sir is, uh, is there anyone else who is uh, looking to ask question or uh, have some doubt so they can ask at the same time if not uh, then we can end this session so anyone else so i'm taking it as a confirmation so let's end this today's session thank yeah. you for your time and have a wonderful thank you guys thank you so much for your time precious time 
uh, we'll hope hope uh, we'll meet and we'll start a session very soon okay? yeah thank you so much guys thank yeah. you tarun yeah thank you arvin good night good night thank you yeah bye Thanks for watching the video. For full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.